Okay, this right here is a 9 bot ES4 scooter battery, right? 36 volts, uh, 5200 milliamp hours, 187 watt hours. Now, the way we have been waking these up, these are dormant because they're discharged, right? They've been sitting on the pallets for a long time and so their, their state of charge is low. And so in order to protect the cells from dying, what it does is it turns off their little BMS. It's got a BMS board in here. And when they're on, they have a light that blinks. And when the light is not blinking, that means that the BMS has turned itself off to protect the cells. So in order to wake them up, what we have been doing is we have been drilling a little hole somewhere around here and then there's a reset button and so all we do is click on that reset button and then the light starts blinking again while that's happening then you can charge the battery and then the the bms will stay on right if you click the button right now it most likely it is just going to turn itself back off because there's still the state of charge is low right and so someone suggested instead of drilling that hole and then clicking on that little button an easier way to wake them up is just to charge the battery through the smaller cables and what i've done here is i've taken the little plug off these four smaller cables came with this little plug here i've cut that plug and then i've installed an xt30 connector just like the one that's over here and i'm gonna apply a charger in here and see if that wakes up the battery so let's try that now okay here is the charger that i'm using these are 42 volts uh maximum voltage chargers these are available on jack35.com and they come in all kinds of different connectors this one i kind of burned already but they come in xt30s XT60s and then they even come in XT90s and then they come originally with uh, another connector that goes onto the uh, the scooters which they were designed to charge right so here are three of the connectors and there's another fourth one that these ones come in here so this I'm going to plug it in here and see what it does it might just blow up for all I know but hopefully not Okay, so the light did go red. And then look at that. So it is an easier way to wake up these batteries. All right, here is one other way to verify that that is correct. Here is the circuit that those batteries are designed to power. Right, and here's the little connector, the small connector for the battery. Uh, here is the input battery connector, and then there's another one. This system right here uses two, an internal and an external battery. But those batteries, I think they're electrically the same. It's just physically they look different, right? Uh, one goes inside of the thing, and the other one goes on the outside of the, of the scooter. So here is the charging port for the scooter right and so it goes on here you plug in the charger here and so if these are charging ports right or this is how the batteries are get charged this one and the, the, the other ones are going to be over here then that should be a direct connection in there um so let's test that i have my multimeter here set to impedance there we go. So this is the negative, right? And then here's the negative of the, the, the battery. Nope, there's nothing here. On the other battery, nope, nothing there. Positive, nope, nothing there, nothing there. But here's the negative, and then let's see the negative on this one. Boom, there it is. So there's a direct connection from the charging port to that small cable that goes to the battery. And then the positive, oh, and then let's try uh, over here somewhere. Oh, and then here it is. 
So this is the negative, negative, negative. So these three pins are connected together. How about the positive? Yep, there it is. This should be the positive. So there you go. Uh, this seems to be the charging ports for these batteries. Uh, is the small uh, red and black connectors for both of these models of batteries. So there you go. This is another, just another quick way to verify that that is the correct way to charge these batteries and that you won't harm them.